<laughs> Definitely not. I mean, you can't even see this. This is our actual Boca camera, and we switched it around toward the Atlantic, and it's really turned up. It's raining in parts of Boca right now, and you can see how windy it is as well. It's almost disconcerting to stand over it. Look at this mass of moisture just enveloping the southern half of the Florida Peninsula. You know, Miami, Dade, and parts of Broward got more than five inches of rainfall already this week. We are resting at, you know, a little more than about an inch in some spots. Hasn't been. It's been more light, but we're going to see some pockets of heavy rain start to infiltrate as we head in through tonight and then again more so throughout tomorrow afternoon and evening. Hope Sound, we got some showers to Cuesta, Jupiter, Juno Beach, Juno Farms and back into uh, Jupiter Farms, I should say, back into Indian Town around the lake. Delray, Boynton Beach, a batch of more moderate rain right now and then it extends all the way down into Boca and Deerfield Beach. So uh, certainly uh, it's a, a lot of saturation going on out there and there's really no relenting here for the next 48 hours or so. Our temperature is not really the story other than the fact that we are cooler than the average, which is 80 here. We're going to stay confined, I think, today with little sun into the mid to upper 70s. We've got a 34 mile an hour wind gust down in Boca just about 15 minutes ago. A 33 mile an hour gust here in West Palm, 26 and 28 respectively, Vero and Port St. Lucie. So very blustery out there in addition to the rain. Even if you're in the mist, it's kind of flying sideways at your face. So it's pretty inclement. And obviously impact weather going forward throughout the course of the late afternoon in through the evening and it's just going to continue all day tomorrow as well. So this is about a 48 hour event on and off for us. Future track verifying with that we will see some pockets of heavier rain that's indicated by the reds and especially these purples here. You'll see a little bit of that down here. Uh, West Boca, for instance, at five o'clock tonight and then another pretty vigorous cell here down in Boca extending through the Turnpike, Royal Palm Beach and Wellington and this is at nine o'clock tonight. So again, heavy rains indicated uh, tropical in nature because of that low that's in the Gulf, which eventually moves its way up tomorrow into the northern Gulf Coast states. But the trough and boundary associated with it will still pull in the moisture here. Just you know, a washout scenario even at 430 tomorrow afternoon. So really more of the same. We could see a more, little bit more volatility tomorrow with more storm action in addition to just that pockets of heavy rain as well. Beach and boating, obviously not the day to try your luck here. Small craft advisories are in the case tomorrow as well. East winds up to 30 knots, 8 to 12 foot seas, and a very high risk of rip currents. Your certified most accurate first morning seven day forecast, keeping the high rain chances around today and tomorrow. Friday still rain, but it's going to be a change in the weather pattern, really an overall humidity and residual moisture, but heat as well, 90 degrees. So it's going to be a shock to the system after these 70s for highs. So 90 Friday and Saturday, close to it on Sunday, but more garden variety afternoon showers and storms that'll carry us into the start of our next work week as well.